No, it's not. Okay. Ah, good evening to everyone. Uh, just wanna. I just want to welcome all of you to uh, this uh, special moment in the uh, life of uh, uh, Bishop Joseph Brenner. T tomorrow he becomes the uh, 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 Bishop of Fresno. As we gather, we especially uh, dedicate this uh, solemn evening prayer for this special moment also in the life of the Diocese of Fresno. It is a special moment here for all of us. As you can see, microphones are not my good friends. <laughs> so uh, let us especially uh, open our hearts and our souls to uh, the grace of God in this special moment in the life of all of us and especially of Bishop Brent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come to my assistance. Lord, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning, it is now, and
A reading from the book of Hebrews. Jesus, because he remains forever as a priesthood that does not pass away, therefore, he is always able to save those who approach God through him. Since he forever lives to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners higher than the heavens. He has no need, as did the high priests, to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sins and then for the, those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's, it does say right there in the program that the homily is to be given by some guy named Joseph Brennan. So that's me, and you are stuck for just a few minutes. Uh, anyway, I'm beyond grateful. I really am to His Holiness, Pope Francis. I'm humbled by this. I'm, I'm puzzled by it as well. People have asked me over the last few weeks, does, does the Pope know you? <laughs> and my standard answer is, if he did, he wouldn't have done this. <laughs> but, but he relies on others, and I'm indebted to Archbishop Jose Gomez. And, Archbishop Christophe Pierre as well. And a very special thank you to Bishop Armando and all here in, in, in this wonderful diocese of ours who have extended such an incredible and warm welcome. I'm, I'm just really beyond, beyond grateful for that. But I must ask a question. I believe I'm taking possession of the cathedral through this evening prayer. Uh, that is correct, right? Bishop Gomez. <laughs> now, if I take possession of the cathedral, I'm also taking official possession of, of the bishop's residence, correct? <laughs> That's all I need to know. The, the rent's due on the 15th of every month. <laughs> Cash only. No, no checks, no credit cards here in Fresno. We, we, just, we, just, want, we just want the cash. Wonderful to be received here with, uh, with such incredible warmth. The first Bishop of Fresno, then Bishop and later Cardinal Manning, was uh, really one of my heroes in the priesthood and, and in manhood too, in brotherhood, all of the above. He was the class of 1934 from St. Patrick's Seminary in Menlo Park. There's another hero of mine who was the class of 1932, John Brennan. We always called him Father John. He was our uncle, but we never called him Uncle John. Although my favorite title really is Uncle Joe, it, it is. But we never called Uncle John uncle. It was always Father John. What's amazing to me is that these two looming figures in my life, both of whom I loved and admired, from afar and then up close and personal, in some ways couldn't stand each other. <laughs> no, they were, like, they were like Peter and Paul, very holy men, apostolic zeal, men of deep prayer, real men of courage, and teaching and imparting all of that by their life, not just by their words. And it amazed me that 
I could somehow be stuck in the middle, loving them both, and wondering why they couldn't talk to each other. <laughs> but they're talking to each other in heaven today. And I think Father John's laughing a little bit today. Cardinal Manning, probably not. He was a fairly serious man, but <laughs> deep, deeply spiritual. I have his card from his funeral. He died in 1989, uh, June 23rd. And I have the card from his funeral in my breviary. And in his card for his funeral, he chose a quote from a namesake, in a sense, another Cardinal Manning from the 19th century, probably an obscure Irish bishop, but there are lots of obscure Irish bishops. <laughs> this one was named Henry Edward Manning, Cardinal Archbishop of Westminster. No shirt of hair is more penitential than the pastoral life. No life more blessed to those who have renounced themselves for Christ's sake. None more intolerable to the hireling and to those who love their liberty and their ease. I read that often, and I share it especially with you gentlemen, with whom I gladly and joyfully share priesthood, and now will do so here in this wonderful diocese of Fresno. Our patroness is St. Teresa of Lisieux. There's so much synergy in this because she's one of my favorites. And I know that there are many people here who can say the same of St. Therese, the little flower. There's a beautiful quote from her in your worship aid, so do hold on to it and do read it later. I'm going to share a shorter quote. But before I share this short quote, just another quip. About these last few months and this last week in particular, I don't know where anything is in my life or in my house. I, I, I've misplaced things. I've had helpers helping me move and a little too helpful. So they, they move things that they weren't supposed to, put things where I can't find them. <laughs> and, you know, one of them was my box of holy cards that I used for confirmation. I, I, I couldn't find it. So I had a few left because I still had three confirmations in Los Angeles this past week. So I had the knuckleheads read. That's the altar servers. That's another name for the altar servers. I had the knuckleheads gather behind me like a choir, and I directed them in the prayer for vocations. And then afterwards, I said, you know, guys, you didn't know this, but every server who's holding a card has a vocation to the priesthood or the religious life. And I, I thought they were going to drop them right there on the spot. <laughs> I said, if God wants it, if it's God's will, it's going to happen, which really got them frightened. Then I said, relax. If God doesn't want it, then it's not going to happen, which leads to this very short but beautiful quote from Therese. Holiness consists simply in doing God's will and being just what God wants us to be. And that is our holiness in a nutshell. It is that simple. We complicate it, but it is simple. If our life with God is complicated, if our life of prayer is complex, then there's something askew. We must be simple daughters, simple Son, before God, and before God's altar, and some, someday before the Lord himself, face to face, and then we'll be with the, the Father Johns of the world, and we'll be with the Timothy Mannings of the world, and we'll be with our moms and dads who have gone before us, and wonderful grandmas and grandpas, and beautiful people in this diocese of Fresno, here and hereafter. My brothers and sisters sitting over here, they're shocked and disappointed that I didn't preach for 45 minutes.
In his son, risen from the dead, God has opened for us the way to everlasting life. Let us ask the Father. God of our fathers, you raised your son Jesus from the dead and clothed him in glory. Move all our hearts to complete repentance that we may walk in the goodness of life. You have led us back to the shepherd and bishop of our souls. You chose the first fruits of Christ's apostles from the Jewish people. Reveal to the children of Israel and the children of promise made to their forefathers. Remember the lonely, the orphans, and the widowed. And do not abandon those who have been reconciled with you by the death of your son. You called Stephen to your presence when he bore witness to Jesus. Stand at your right hand. Welcome, Welcome our deceased brothers and sisters, who in the faith and love hope and the vision of our Lord. God of mercy, you have filled us with the hope of resurrection by restoring man to his, to his original dignity. May we, may we who relieve this mystery each year come to, share in, in, come to share it in perpetual love. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And the Holy Spirit. May our God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.